Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to capture a click on a hyperlink. So if you're using jQuery in your project and you want to capture a click event on your uh, hyperlink when any hyperlink is clicked inside your document, then how you're going to utilize a function to do something else that you want to. So to start with, you first you need to include the jQuery in the HTML document. This is your HTML document. It has uh, two sections, the head section and the body section. And the jQuery uh, inclusion goes right here in the head section. So to include the jQuery, you need to go to Google and search for jQuery Syrian Google. That way you can directly include the jQuery file uh, from the Google hosted library the only thing you need to do is to be connected to the internet so that you can uh, access the jQuery hosted files so once you click on the hosted libraries you will be taken to this link and from there you can go to the jQuery link here and pick up the right set of uh, script that you like so I will pick this up and copy it and go to your editor and put it right there so now the jquery has been added to your document it will be loaded when the document is loaded by your browser so now to add a hyperlink all you need to do is a href equal to let us say you're going to go to http colon double slash google.com and you close it by uh, putting an angular bracket and close it by slash a tag and inside that we are going to put a text called as google which helps uh, to identify the hyperlink and once we click on this hyperlink the thing that we want to do is it should give an alert and then probably go to the google.com when we say uh, when we press ok on that alert then it should move to the google.com so how we are going to achieve it and uh, in that uh, process we can also do multiple things for example calling other services or doing something else or making a div color change or uh, anything but this is just a simple example to make you understand how to use the jquery to capture the click event on the google so now you got to write the script so to write the script you need to have a block called as the script block And the script block is closed by the slash script block and inside that you will start writing the jquery code which is dollar the dollar function takes an argument called as the document you can also use uh, instead of dollar this keyword called as jquery if you want to have a verbose stock code these two essentially are the same and when that document is loaded which is denoted by the ready function so at that time we are going to call a function and we are going to close it and inside this function we are going to write the code for our click on the hyperlink so basically this is the basic structure of a doc of a jquery code uh, which will be invoked when the document is ready anyway we have written it just before the slash body that means this code will be invoked only when the body has been loaded but to be on the safer side we could have written it anywhere like on the top here after body but this would not have loaded this would not have run if the document was not ready so it doesn't matter you can place it anywhere inside the body tag so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the event that gets fired when you click a hyperlink so to get that uh, event I will have to first uh, find out the elements which are hyperlinks so I can do it like this dot a and then I'm going to use a function called as on and use an event called as click and when click happens I will call a function 
this you can see in the jquery documentation so if you go to the jquery documentation right here and then you go to the api documentation and search for dot on you will go to this function and you can explore a lot of uh, things that this function does so on click of this uh, hyperlink I'm going to do something so for example I'm going to do an alert hyperlink clicked now proceeding to google.com just an arbitrary message and leave it like this so once we click on the hyperlink it is going to take us uh, it is going to show us an alert and then it is going to take us to the google.com let us see whether it works it like uh, the way we have written it or not so when i run this uh, file in my browser uh, as you can see so when i run this file you can see that there's a hyperlink on the left hand side and there's a link uh, on it called as the google and i'm going to click on this link and let us see what is going to happen after that so if I click on the link, I can see that an alert has been created, which says that hyperlink click now proceeding to google.com. So if you click on this, okay, you're going to be taken to the google.com. Let us see that too. Exactly. So you're taken to the google.com and that's how uh, the whole code was supposed to work. If you do not want to be taken to uh, google.com or you know you just want to stop it there and not let the hyperlink uh, proceed to the intended target and all you need to do is add a parameter here call this event and add a function to this event which is called as prevent default which is going to stop the propagation of the hyperlink or any uh, any click anything that you have any event that you have it will uh, stop the uh, default procedure the default uh, follow through action when you do that uh, clicking let's see whether it happens like this or not we're going to just load it again the whole file and I'm going to click it and hyperlink click now proceeding to google.com and as you can see it doesn't go to there this happens because we have put event.prevent default over here so i hope that was uh, worthwhile and simple enough to understand the on function and which allows to first click on the hyperlink catches that event alerts a message and if you want to uh, stop the propagation of that event all we need to uh, do is uh, call a function called as prevent default on the event object and stop it from propagation thanks for watching